Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody, to some more Epic Battle Fantasy V with yours truly, Free Wada, with the exclamation point for that added emphasis, baby. I love I love having the, uh, I, I just love having this video camera right now. It's it, I don't even know why it makes me feel a little bit extra hype to get into this episode, to get into all these episodes. We are back here today after making you guys sit through that last little bit of the episode, cleaning up stuff, and now we're going to get into battles after battles after battles. Still going to be a little talk in the way, but we're going to try and clear up. I'm going to start here, clear up this whole desert area, and then we're going to work our way right back down. So boss has been spotted down south, buy some snacks, but let's, let's do a little battle first. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh boy, that's a big one. So let's see. Let's start by scanning. These guys are the same, so we only need to catch one. Let's kill one, get it out of the way. So wind, ice, darkness, explosives. Wind, ice, darkness, explosives. So let's... Oh, it deals massive physical damage to all enemies with several hits, dispels foes, cancel. Let's see it. And it's darkness. Oh, it's the it's the Hellcat from the other game, or Demon Cat or whatever. Huh? Yeah, I see a glowing cat-like figure back there. That looks a lot like what God Cat described as the book of Cat Catus. No, it couldn't be the same one. It is. It's the one that we had to fight, Natalie. Remember? She doesn't remember. Let's go with. What do we have? We have healing. Fire, ice, thunder, so I think the ice is what we're going to go with. We could go with the uh, lucky star, but it seems like that's worse already. As you saw earlier, she can do magic spells. Bumping us with some cactus, some cacti. I wonder how... I wonder how that works, actually, with... Uh... So what does that do? Fire? Damage is increased. He doesn't, have, he doesn't have resistance to fire, so we might as well take the extra 50%. She can hit him with a massive fireball spell. So let's see what Natalie's got with the fire, even if it's not ice. Well, she can miss, too. That makes sense. That's right, with the all that accuracy debuff. I'm so used to games, for some reason, like magic automatically hits and stuff like that. Um, let's use Matt to kill here. Let's see if No Legs can... Fingers crossed we hit this. Natalie tries to go for the catch. <laughs> applying, oh yeah, that's right. Applying status effects. That's right. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh okay. So what do we do? We maybe do this. So we can do that. We reduce the evade. No legs comes in with the ox here. Easy enough. Oh yeah. Big sand slime. Sand sand in my pants. And then she she can heal herself because she's looking a little, a little frazzled right now. It's so bouncy, charging. Ready to use a powerful attack. Let's clean this guy out. Clean him out. Um, let's go with the slashes. Let's go with it. <laughs> yeah, the slimes just keep getting bigger. That was a lot of XP. This stone block looks big, but it's actually surprisingly light. Even no legs can push it. We can just push it out of the way and continue yourself. Oh, can I? Okay, No Legs is never moving. He's never moving positions. No Legs is our consistent companion now. Let's clean. We can't do that. We need the hammer, right? You gotta be a hammer bro first, obviously. Slime Bunny could heal us, but can also heal foes. Let's swap over to Matt. Even though I want No Legs first, but I'm probably gonna be using Matt or Nats to scan because we can do this. And we gotta capture all of these. So let's try to box here. Easy enough, sand slime. Instead of sand castle, what would be like a small 
sand, what is it? Si sand tiny home. Or tiny house. <laughs> that's a, that's a timepiece right there. I guess I should have just called it a tiny home, yeah. There we go, another one. Slime bunny. Tasty, oh, here we go. This finally, tasty treats. That's for all the shell shockers there. Anyone come from shell shock that wanted to see this, they know the tasty treats. They know the tasty treats. Oh, big sand slime's here now. Hmm. Let's try out the lucky star. See how it does again. Can't rely on the spell too much, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure though if we level up enough, it'll do pretty good, but I'm sure there's way better spells than that anyway. It's just good if we don't have a good element against them. Slice across the board. We'll leave that slime alive. Let's let Matt do a little bit. Let's do a little bit of this. Yo, 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 yo. And he's chilled. Ice and water damage increased, which very good for Nats here. Got the freeze and we can hit it for double damage now. Now the question is, okay. Cannot take a turn and until attack or damage. Next hit deals double damage except for fire damage. And he's increased for fire, obviously. So we're gonna have to look at making some of those combos a little bit better. No legs. Yep, no legs is good at what he does. Natalie, we already came to that conclusion before you. But it doesn't hurt to have the extra. It doesn't hurt to have someone help you out if you don't know what's going on. Bring her this stuff. You the traveler. You emerged from the depths of the jungle, did you not? Would you happen perchance to have some spare lumber? I'd like to rebuild these totems that were destroyed by shaking land. Yeah. There you go. So does that mean we lose the wooden idol? Thank you, traveler. May your kindness carry you far in this world. Oh, orange ball that fell from the sky. All these are collected, something may happen. Dragon Balls. <laughs> Check our summons. Looks like we are out of the idol, so we are gonna have to recapture it. I can hit these targets, no problem. But fast enemies still give me some trouble. I guess it's hard to hit enemies that are a higher level than me. And well, I'm level zero. Also, flying enemies. They tend to dodge attacks quite well. Sniping skills come in handy sometimes. We'll keep an eye out on our accuracy stat. As I understand it, if your accuracy is higher than a foe's of eight, you can't miss. Well, with the exception of very few skills that have extra low accuracy. Let's go ahead and grab some sushi. I'm worried about my grandfather. He doesn't believe in modern medicine, and he doesn't take any coffee with him while hunting. He won't be able to revive his fallen foes with, or er, <laughs> not his fallen foes, his fallen allies without coffee. Unless you've got a powerful healer in your party, carrying some garlic is also very important. You never know when you could be poisoned, stunned, or worse. I don't really like garlic, though, and I don't think my cat likes it either. <laughs> well, I have one more little tip for you. If you're unfamiliar with status effects, you can see a list of them in the stats and equips menus. Just hover over them and see their names. We didn't really have that, actually, when uh, when we played the fourth one. Ha! <laughs> There's something hidden back here. Almost missed one. Really? You can steal from this friendly family? I'm sorry, Natalie, but this is just how the game is played. I'm sure you'll get used to it eventually. Eh, I'm gonna make this right someday, I swear. A gold key? Okay, so we can remove one of those blocks and we got another plate. Let's see what's in here. A chili pepper? Nice, 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 nice. We can touch the cat. So this is our next little area that we got here. Let's clear up this area. We'll go back down. Oh, we can get this now. Let's go with the triple jump here. Cause that won't kill. Then we can do that. Capture another one. We'll just leave that. That one's renamed Wooden Idol. We already had our named Wooden Idol and they took that away from me. So I'm salty. I'm a little salty if you can't tell. Let's get some jabby jabs in here. Stumpy gloops. Let's go with this. Wow. I think Natalie could kill him with the fire spell after this. We'll do the same thing here. Let's start with let's start with Matt. 
Let's go here. App. Let's swap the nets. Because if they can kill it, they can kill it. We keep no legs in the bat reserve, probably, to see when he can jump some stuff. Just get a little bit of spread damage out. Ice or a water sword, sapphire saint, and a chicken leg. Let's come down here real quick. So this leads to a bunch of other stuff. Let's come up here then, and we'll clear up that top area, then come back down. Fight this rock. I think the box I kind of dropped or captured the Yeah. Yeah, we know that. Let's do... Let's do this. There we go. Nice. Let's have Matt scan this guy. We'll have Nats clear this one. We get to use our first light. Hey, lightning bolt. Oh, oh, he yeeted at us. So, ice, water, explosives. Good thing... Ice, water, and explosives. Let's just go with the stabby stabs here. We can go with the water. I don't think he dies off of that. Let's... Maybe do non-elemental damage? We're not trying to kill him yet. Let's reduce his evade, just in case. And let's do one of... Where is it? Let's get a little bit more damage in. A little bop here. Steal a brick. <laughs> I know Natalie's not okay with that. There we go. Sandstone boulder. Rock. Lobster. Because, get it? He was lobbing rocks at us. He's a rock lobster. If I couldn't laugh at myself, I don't know where I'd... I don't know wh how sad I'd be right now. <laughs> okay, so he's wet. That's where we can do extra ice damage here. Heads up. Ooh! It looks like it would do a lot more damage. I'm sure it will very soon. Let's get no legs in here with this jump attack. Bam! That's basically almost that four hitter in one go. And cleaned out. Easy enough. For some reason I thought before, like, I forgot this one had the turn cooldowns. But for some reason in Epic Battle Fantasy 4, I think I said something about like maybe you used them and it leveled up your skills. So that was definitely I was way off about that. Some emerald earrings. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have any extra equip? So Natalie already has a level two staff. And that was the, we got her that druid staff. What was that? Bio skills upgraded. Some emerald earrings. Places weapon status effect with poison. Status effect, what is that? Dispelling? That would be frosting them. And this doesn't have, so we could poison with uh, no legs here actually. I mean, we could always go with the bandit blade, boost the damage of water skills, but we don't have any water skills, so I think we take the non-elemental for now. We're probably gonna get that right quick. But let's clear up some more enemies. Battle position. Oh, we needed that one. Um, we swap. Oh, can I just go here? I'm so dumb. I didn't see that yet. But hey, we learn. And learning is half the battle. Let's capture the surrendered foe. I'm sure that helps a lot. Sandy bush. Bush sand. <laughs> I took I took the games. I, I took the game's name and repurposed it. A little bit of extra evade, that's not good. Let's go here. Whap, 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 whap. Ugh. Let's drop his evade. Lots of evade down now. Let's have Natalie just... We'll clean up this guy with Natalie. Okay, so we can... We can use no legs now. Do a little sword play. 
Nice. And let's try to capture. I think it's going to... Is that a box? And we got it. And since we're going to... We're going to give this to a print. Quest dog. Quest dog. And I'm sure that would heal us and we'll need another one eventually, but that's okay. We'll give it to the person. And we'll just clean up here. Let's do this nice swift slash. We're going to use Matt and Nats. Oh, we can spread the poison to everyone, too. That's so nice. Let's clean this guy up. And so then no legs can just pop. Oh, that works. Later. Later, monsters. Got a cactus dress. Some cacti. Now we can go back down here. So if we use... Thinking if we may be able to save ourselves a couple screens of movement. We go here. Then we go to this one. Then we check our map real quick. We go left and then up. Okay. Left. Up. Then we can turn that into her. Oh yeah, she was the one that was injured. Oh, this is the dog we found for me? It doesn't look very fierce. I'll try to train him, I guess. We got purified garlic and a fried egg. Excellent. Making everyone happy, especially ourselves. Still waiting to get that one treasure chest. Let's go here. Oh, they make such a cute noise now. Meow. I know it's a little bunny, but it sounds like a little kitty sound. So we go here. There's someone here. Oh! Hey, mister, got any coffee? Can I give you some money to go to the shops for me? The other adults won't let me have any. So he gave us blueberries, a bubble spell, and raspberries. Thanks, mister. I'll teach you the spell that I invented while crying all day. <laughs> Sounds like me. Nah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's do a little sweep like that. What do we have under our summons? Places the current weather with breezy weather for five turns. That's a lot for just breezy. Regenerate, that's gonna be a good one. Just on a single target. Single target. Wait, what is this? Gives confused stats to all active allies for many turns. Basically initiating auto battle mode. Don't try this on a boss. I see why it does. Hits all foes with physical earth damage, makes them all tired. So these guys are resistant to it, but... AoE damage is AoE damage. And they're tired now, so... Evade and accuracy decrease every turn bio damage is taken is increased. We don't have any bio, though. No bio balls for us today. Let's go with this here. Um, let's have Matt smack him. Then Natalie goes for the uh, ice again. For some reason, I thought he was dipping. <laughs> uh, let's get the jabby jabs in here. That's cool that it keeps slowly lowering all that stuff. And seventh heaven, so it's not called Kune anymore. He was going to run away anyway. We probably could have captured him if we didn't have one captured already. But hey, we're ahead of the curve. We're ahead of the curve, baby. Don't forget to upgrade. Yes, I know. I should be upgrading. Steel plate, a powerful yet reasonably affordable crafting material. I gotcha, I gotcha. No. Get out of here. So we can't go here anymore. Got all that. So we're going to need some more stuff. And we got this here. Let's go ahead, hop into this next little area real quick. Looks like there's our boss. And let's check this out. I'm not even paying attention to that right now. Bone spike. Is it a tooth? A claw? A knee? Um, check out this. I attempted to hunt that lumbering beast up ahead, but it thoroughly thrashed me. Maybe my granddaughter was right. I should have brought more coffee with me. Oh, that was the girl up there. That reminds me, now would be a good time to look through our available skills and make sure we have the right ones powered up. Yes, I know. Game. Game. 
At least I've got a slime bunny in this pocket. That saved my life a couple times for sure. Oh, and one more thing, I'm certain that bosses will never stop summoning backup. They've got an endless supply of mooks to replace fallen ones. I can talk to this guy. This foul cyclops has appeared out of nowhere and blocked off the entrance to my cave. If you're going to fight it, you should be warned. You'll need a lot of stamina. Make sure you're prepared and that if still not enough, you can run away from the battle and try out some different armor too. That, and no, like, you should really listen to this guy. Being gung-ho about everything isn't always the way to go. Sometimes you need to step back and think about your strategy. <laughs> I'll never back down from a foe. I'll never run away. There's no shame in running away to fight another day. In fact, there's no penalty at all. That's how most of us are still alive today. That's good to know. Okay, that thing over there by the cave is definitely a boss. Yeah, that's the ice cave. Let's look around first and not rush into this. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, looks like all that happening. Okay, we'll look at our skills here now. We'll look at our skills. Slicing Cyclone's powerful attack, which hits everyone several times. Let's go with basic first. Let's just get skills. 100 AP needed. Revenge would be nice. The whole, the light blade. I never really use the uh, the revenge too much. Maybe we'll try to use a little more here. I know people have done like revenge builds where they get everyone killed and then once they can, they have Natalie like they or not Natalie. They have Matt just like clobber people with one shots. Buffs an ally magic attack and gives them good luck. Um, let's start with some of the other stuff. Siphons bows. Can't use most magical attacks. Oh, we have all the extra skills here. That's good. We'll pop this here. We'll give the encore to her as well. No, maybe we give that to no legs. Let's give her bubble because she doesn't have a wet attack. She does have an ice, so we can give that to someone else. Let's go with the... Let's get a bio. Um, maybe this mute could be good. And then spectrum. Spectrum internet. And the upgrade the heal a little bit. So Matt, he does not... He does have ice. We got the tundra. We do have a poison too. We don't need that. No legs needs that though. And the snow. And the Encore. Okay. I think, yeah, he has lightning, wispy, wind. Let's go ahead and buy all of his strikes. His separate strikes. The Sacred Strike, the Shadow Strike. Star Blast hits all enemies with no magical, non elemental damage, takes a long time to recharge. Nine lives heals all allies and gives them auto revive and revives dead allies too. Takes a long time to recharge. Oh, so it's only one turn for now. That's gonna be good to hold on to though. <gasps> Sushi cat, yeah, I remember that. I do remember that. Let's get the star. Let's just unlock stuff for now. The creator. So we have the other god cat. Um. Yeah, let's go for it. Nothing else we can upgrade there. We could forge. Oh, what do we forge? Boost damage of wind skills, high accuracy stick of hockey champions, boost the damage of water skills. She is good. Let's maybe look at armor instead. Effective buff skills. Let's go with that. Pop a couple buffs here. Let's just upgrade where we can. Whatever we have. He doesn't have much to go for yet. Um, her staves, her the toys. And we'll save on that. Let's maybe see about forging some flare, perhaps? Some berries. Okay. Let's go fight this guy now. Let's go fight him up. We got that. Let's go for... What is this? Lightning. We could do some lightning here. Let's go for it. Zap, zap. Zap, zap. Nice. Spark, sparks intensify. We'll do a little scanning here. What do we need? Ice and explosive. So if we did this, let's see what happens here. It's actually pretty strong. For a basic spell, that's pretty strong. I'd say at least. 
We don't have an ice, do we? We do have the snow bunnies, but it hits everyone, so it's not that strong and explosive. We could just go with this, the stabby stabs. Ice. Yep. Okay. Chill them out a little bit. We could go with another one of these spectrums. I don't think... He Unless we crit. Unless we crit. So we, there's still the coral boulders. Let's get rid of this dirt one first. <laughs> we'll let them take their turn. I'm going to dance. Okay, so we can do the water strike here. Water strike. Water strike. And explosive. We can bubble, though. Not too bad. That wasn't too shabby. So if we do an elementalist strike with no legs, that's probably going to be our best bet, I suppose. Let's try out this Star Blast. It says it takes 10 turns, so... Oh, that was beautiful. I liked how no legs, too, was like... Meow. So meowful. Chilled. Ice and water damage increased. Let's clean up that. I guess we killed him. For sure, definitely killed him. <gasps> Where'd, th Where'd that cat come from? Is that part of our armor? Is this the one that had... Does this game... You know, for some reason, I, th I was thinking four added abilities, but I think this is the one that adds abilities. Aerial. Rock. Version. Of. Aerial. Long name. That's all I could think of. <laughs> for some reason, that was just poking through my brain. So we got some more of those. So let's check our equipment again. Boost the damage. Buffs. Yep, yep, yep. Beautiful trip with tri elemental mages. There it is. Randomly cast Cat Warrior between turns. So, okay, so this is the one where we get certain level ups on it. It will uh, it will give us different bonuses. So I, for some reason, I thought even with that one, that was back in Epic House Fantasy IV. I've been getting my games mixed up. We, oh, we fought the... Oh, it's been so long since we fought these. Um... Let's kill this guy first, then. Go ahead and clean him up. Ice would be okay here. We do this. Chill him out. What we're gonna do is actually buff up ourselves here. Then we're gonna- I'm gonna see how the Berserk status works. Or how well it works. Let's go with the ice here. I just kind of want to see how much damage we can do with that together. If he doesn't miss now. So... This? Let's see what he does. Not bad. Not bad. Holy... Poison, Earth, Lightning. I don't think we had the, uh, yeah. So we can get some status effects going on right now. Um. Let's actually do this. Nice. Okay, nice. So we got rid of his Berserk there. With the poison, it's gonna increase our odds. Nice. Ooh, this my brother will know this one. We had that's a little bit of nostalgia right there. So we had hermit crabs before, and I named there was like a lot of things I named Gus that were just super strong. Or I think it was just for hermit crab. I thought like I think everything I thought I named Gus, even though I named like one thing Gus, uh, survived a little bit longer than my brother's hermit crab, basically, and that was it. So we were like, whoa, it's the, it's the strongest name ever, Gus. 
<laughs> but uh, just a little, that was a little fun little one there, just because I saw the hermit crabs. All right. Let's get back here, get that treasure. Hat female. Hats like this are driving mammoths to extinction, so wear it with a heavy heart. Fluffy fur for, from some unlucky animal and the feathers of appropriation. All right, looks like we've cleaned up everything here. Let's take one more look at our skills. If there's anything else we can get here, we can get this light blade unlocked. We can upgrade our trimmer a little bit and our geyser a little bit. Nats. Let's go ahead and get our other ulti just in case we can have a little bit of variety. It's always nice. Upgrade whatever we can here. No legs. Let's go with your... Let's jump bump up this sword play a little bit. And here, we're gonna take a little pause here because we got a little boss coming up. Let me make sure that I have saved. I haven't saved in quite a while. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know, I'll take whatever I can get, baby. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.